Russia registered the first COVID vaccine. We are number one. Sputnik now is gonna save the humanity. Sputnik V was the first vaccine developed for the virus, and Russia was vaccinating its citizens months before other countries. So what's happened? Why the country that registered the first vaccine is failed to vaccinate its own population? Why Russia has failed its own vaccination program? Let's look at the situation without pink glasses. This is Natasha and welcome to my channel Natasha's Russia. For now, we have less than 15% of people who are vaccinated in the country. And I can tell you that it's happened because of last month, because the government decided to make vaccines mandatory, so all people around to take the vaccine. So the majority of people didn't want to take this vaccine, but because of the government a decision, uh, they were forced to. So let's figure out how is this happened that the country that produced the first effective vaccine uh, failed to vaccinate its own population. So I collected the main reasons why is this happening in my country and it has nothing to do with the vaccine efficiency or something like that. The first reason is distrust to the government and misleading propaganda. Propaganda plays a very big role in people's life in Russia. So all our channels on TV is controlled by the state. Still many people that get the information through main channels. So the position of government uh, is translated through TV. So here are a few points that Russian government did wrong. They used to send wrong messages to people. То, что сейчас происходит, вот с пандемией этого коронавируса, она фактически не намного страшнее, чем грипп, от которого умирают еще больше. Coronavirus по финалу будет бой обычной сезонной инфекции. Россия уверенно выходит из пандемии коронавируса. Теперь у этого процесса есть визуальное подтверждение. Коронавирус почти побежден. И пять регионов, где коронавирус почти победили. Мы действительно достойно сейчас уже можно это сказать достойно ответили на угрозу эпидемии. В России за минувшие сутки выявили 24 633 новых случаев заражения коронавирусом. За сутки в России выявили 25 704 новых случаев. Из них более 5 тысяч приходится на Москву. Справились с инфекцией почти 22 тысячи человек, пока регионы вынуждены ужесточать ограничения. Firstly, they say that the virus is not so deadly as it seems, and then they say that it's horrible virus that kills everyone. So people get mixed up messages and they absolutely lose uh, their trust in what government says. Since the beginning of pandemic, Russian authorities used to say that we have the lowest uh, mortality rates from COVID in the world. But in reality, when we go and check excess mortality, we figure out that Russia has an abnormal increase in mortality. So, so of course, everyone started to think that government is lying to us, obviously. For Russia, 2020 became one of the worst in terms of increase in the number of deaths. We've got minus 18 and 1% since the post-war period. It was higher only in 1947, uh, when it was the period of mass famine, 38.8%. We can see the trend of decreasing in mortality from the middle of 2000s is replaced with a sharp increase last year. So it's definitely something abnormal. And there's definitely something wrong with the statistics. The point is that the higher mortality rates are not only in Russia, but it's all over the world. But Russia turned out to be one of the leaders in excess mortality in absolute terms and per capita. So we can see here, like Russia's daily reported cases are way lower than the real excess deaths. And the point that these excess deaths are 
even similar to the US, but the US has population twice larger than Russia. The second thing that propaganda did wrong is spreading scary news about foreign vaccines. Since the beginning of rollout of the vaccination, we hear here and there how uh, Western vaccines are bad, they have a lot of side effects, and how people die from this vaccine, from awful deadly side effects. But you need to understand that naturally, a Russian person trusts to foreign pharmaceuticals and foreign medicine more than Russian. So what happens when they are told that even the foreign vaccine sucks? It means that our is completely useless and even harmful. And the government doesn't give any choice to people. We have only Sputnik and two other mm, doubtful vaccines. One of them, Epivac Corona, that doesn't work and it's proven. And Covivac, we don't have even data about this vaccine. So there are basically three of them and two of them are doubtful. So only Sputnik is really effective. I believe if the government would really care about their people, they would give them another option. So if they know about this trait of people, that they trust to foreign vaccine more than to Russian one, okay, give these people this vaccine, uh, let them pay money, but let it be on the market and let them be vaccinated. Because right now, all of us in danger and it's not a time for political games. Another reason, the government holds large public events when thousands of people participate like victory parade euro 2020 scarlet sales united russia gatherings etc without any social distancing And then they charge or put people in jail for breaking anti-COVID laws during solo picketing. People see these double standards. They're not stupid. The second big point is the absurdity of laws and governmental workers who don't even follow them. Firstly, authorities force people to wear masks and keep a distance, but then uh, themselves, they don't follow these rules. Putin has never worn a mask during the whole pandemic. Then authorities force people to wear gloves, which is absolutely ridiculous, and the whole world understood that it doesn't make any sense. So people see that the demand from government is absurd, so they assume that the other demands and rules from the state are absurd too. And then in the end, they fail the whole propaganda. <laughs> and uh, they force people to take vaccines. But the funniest part that we don't even know, has Putin taken the vaccine or no? And the last point, uh, and I think that's the last point, and I was thinking, should I include this point or no? Because the main uh, problem for me is the government, uh, how they behave and do they follow their own laws, how do they educate people, etc., etc. That's why we have the state, you know, the state must uh, educate people, they must take care of these things. So the last thing I want to mention here is the low education of the population and unprofessionalism of doctors. Unfortunately, evidence-based medicine is not widespread in Russia at all. And our doctors are still taught an old way Impressionist medicine is still uh, dominating here and doctors are, are not prescribing the medicine based on effectiveness, but based on their personal experience and observations. So this way we get a lot of doctors who dissuade people from vaccination based on their own fear and uh, disability of analyzing the data properly. And uh, on the other hand, we have people the vast majority of people who don't know how to analyze information and whom to trust, that's the most important thing uh, because of what I just said previously. So plenty of people start to fall for conspiracy theories or just trust their own doctors. 
so these were the main reasons and I hope I answered this question to you why is this happening in Russia and the main reason that I see is complete distrust to government and how would you expect people to trust or uh, <laughs> to believe in something if you all the time lie to them so they believe that government wants to harm them instead of helping them in this situation when it's really needed thank you for watching that was Russia without pink glasses where I'm gonna talk about realities in Russia and analyze the information so if you want to know more about Russia don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and tell me in comments uh, what do you think what stops your people in your country from uh, vaccination what are the main reasons I would really like to know and compare and do you see any similarities with the reasons that we have here to your country Thank you for watching and пока пока. Let me go uh, back to my pink world.